Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Morning Prayers. I'm Steve Toby, and today is the 7th of May, and it is, uh, oh, Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Amen. And this is the Sunday of the Paralytic. The Sunday of the Paralytic. And the troparian for today is, there it is, let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, for the Lord has shown strength with his arm. He has trampled down death by death. He has become the firstborn of the dead. He has delivered us from the depths of hell and has granted to the world great mercy. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And now let's say good morning to uh, Robin. Come on. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. It's and we've a beautiful got, day. Oh, it is. We got lots of sunshine behind us. Supposed to get some rain this after, later afternoon and this evening, but we'll put up with it. We got a nice day in front of us today. Mm -hmm. So, oh, well, let me see. You, why, why don't we go ahead and share the scriptures with everybody? All right, we've got Acts nine thirty-two through forty-two, and the Gospel of John chapter five one through fifteen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Now it all now it came to pass as Peter went through all parts of the country, that he also came down to the saints who dwelt in Lydia. There he found a certain man named Ananias, who had been bedridden eight years and was paralyzed. And Peter said to him, Ananias, Jesus the Christ heals you. Arise and make your bed. Then he arose immediately. So all who dwelt at Lydia and Sharon saw him and turned to the Lord. At Joppa there was a certain disciple named Tabitha, which is translated Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in an upper room. Then since Lydia was near Joppa, the disciples had heard that Peter was there, and they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room. All the widows stood by him weeping, showing the tunics and garnets, garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all out, knelt down and prayed, and turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes, and when she saw Peter, she saw it up. Then he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and the widows, he presented her alive. And it became known through all Joppa, and many believed on the Lord. In the name of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Go play. 15. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, by the Sheep Gate, a pool which is called in Hebrew, Besides. Bethesda, and having five porches, and these lay a great multitude of sick people, blind, lame, paralyzed, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain time into the pool and stirred up the water. Then whoever stepped in first, after the stirring of the water, was made well of whatever disease he had. Now a certain man was there who had an infirmity 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had already been in that condition a long time, he said to him, do you want to be made well? The sick man answered him, sir, I have no man to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up, 
but while I am coming, another steps down before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your bed and walk. And immediately the man was made well, took up his bed and walked. And that day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said to him who was cured, It is the Sabbath. It is not lawful for you to carry your bed. He answered them, He who made me well said to me, Take up your bed and walk. Then they asked him, Who is the man who said to you, Take up your bed and walk? But the one who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had withdrawn, a multitude being in that place. Afterward, Jesus found him in the temple and said to him, See, you have been made well. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. The man departed and told the Jews that it was Jesus who had made him well. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you so much. And, oh, I have an announcement to make before we say hello to everybody. I just want to remind everyone that on Tuesday morning, we will not have morning prayers. I have an early doctor's appointment first. So Tuesday morning, no prayers. So you're going to miss seeing Robin. Yes. All righty. So let's now say hello to Barb Anderson. Good morning to you. Christ is risen. Truly he is. Karen Kalanovich. Good morning, Steve and Sweet Prayer family. It's so good to be with all of you. There's Stravula Batskos over there in uh, Melbourne, Australia. It's evening for her over there, about 12 hours, 13 hours difference. And uh, let me see here. Maria Fenton, good morning to you down there in Ocala, Florida. And let me see over here. Joyce Marie created me a clean heart, oh God and renew a right spirit within me. There's Earl and Vicky from Nashville. Earl and Vicky Winter, good morning to you both. Catherine Houston, good morning. And Venice, Florida. Juliette Sabunia from Boston, Massachusetts. Good morning, all of you. Prayer family, Christ is risen. Violetta, good morning, Steve and everyone. Christ is risen. There's Joe Barbera. Joey, good morning. Christ is truly risen. Amen. And Amber, Amber Tremaine over there in Snohomish, Washington. And uh, Amber says, I slept in, but I'm in time for prayer. Well, she slept in. Let me see. It's three hours difference, I think. Uh, she's out there in Washington State. So it's a, it's a 5, 5 a.m. in the morning there, and she slept in. <laughs> That's Ooh. what I liked about the Army. They let you sleep in until 5 or 5.30 every day. That was great. All righty. So, let me see. Just double check over here. And uh, let me see. Oh. We can. Uh, would you lead us in prayer this morning, Robin? Certainly. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death, and upon those in the tombs bestowing life. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities. For thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O good one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God. Let the Theotokos have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From bed and sleep thou hast raised me, O Lord. Enlighten my mind to my heart, and open my lips, that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos. Have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Suddenly the judge shall come, and the deeds of each shall be revealed. But with fear let us cry out in the middle of the night, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Arising from sleep, I thank thee, O Holy Trinity, because of thy great goodness and long suffering. Thou wast not wroth with me, slothful and sinful as I am, neither hast thou destroyed me in my transgressions, but in thy compassion thou hast raised me up as I lay in despair, that at dawn I might sing the glories of thy majesty. Do thou now enlighten the eyes of mine understanding and open my mouth to meditate on thy words, to understand thy commandments, to do thy will, to hymn thee in heartfelt confession, and to praise thine all-holy name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and in the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship and fall down before God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all worlds. Light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate in the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the living and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We bless thee, O God Most High and Lord of mercies, whoever worketh great and mysterious deeds for us, glorious, wonderful, and numberless, who providest us with sleep as a rest from our infirmities and as a repose for our bodies tired by labor. We thank thee that thou hast not destroyed us in our transgressions, but in thy love towards mankind, thou hast raised us up as we lay in despair, that we may glorify thy majesty. We entreat thine infinite goodness, enlighten the eyes of understanding, and raise up our minds from the heavy sleep of indolence. Open our mouths and fill them with thy praise, that we may unceasingly sing and confess thee, who art God glorified in all and by all, 
the Eternal Father with thine only begotten Son and thine all holy and good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly meet to bless thee, O Theodokus, who art ever blessed and all blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, thou who without corruption didst bear God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. O Lord, grant me thy peace to greet all this day is to bring. Grant me the grace to surrender myself completely to thy holy will. And every hour of this day, instruct and guide me in all things. Whatever tidings I may receive in this day, teach me to accept tranquilly in the firm belief that thy holy will governs all. Govern thou my thoughts and feelings in all that I do and say. When unforeseen things occur, let me not forget that all is sent by thee. Teach me to behave sincerely and reasonably towards everyone, that I may bring confusion and sorrow to no one. Bestow on me, O Lord, strength to endure the fatigue of the day and to bear my part in its events. Guide thou my will. Teach me how to pray. Pray thou thyself within me. Amen. And now blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be merciful to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Well, I see Elioni from Louisville has joined us this morning. Christ is risen, truly is risen. Good morning, Steve, Rob, and Amber, Catherine, and everyone. Christ is in our midst. He is and forever shall be. Blessed Sunday to you all. And from Fadville, North Carolina, Arthur Bethea. And he'll be on his way to church in a little bit at St. Nicholas Parish in Fayetteville. And uh, we pray, dear Lord, for that parish, that it thrives and it grows. It's a mission parish, I understand. So we pray for that parish. Let it grow, Lord. Let it grow. And has anybody joined us over here? I don't see anyone. No? Okay. I think I've said good morning to Maria down there in Ocala. So, well, today is Sunday, and our prayer list Oh, and here it is, goes on the altar. And our whole prayer list is uh, offered up by Father Gregory from the altar during the liturgy. So, there, we're not forgotten on Sundays. Thank you, Father. So, we'll see you again this evening. T tonight is the Sunday night edition of the uh, Gospel Minute Live. And we're going to be talking about, we're going back to some basics. We're going to talk about the creed tonight. You know, when I uh, uh, have a new catechumen that I'm working with, the first thing we always do, always do, I don't care what faith tradition they come from, we go to the creed. This is what we believe. Now, we all have an interpret, uh, several faith, we, we all, uh, but several faith, uh, faith uh, traditions will have a different interpretation of what the creed says. So we'll be talking about that too. But what's really important is what we believe. And then we're, as St. Peter told us in 1 Peter 3.15, make sure you check, have the uh, uh, knowledge and, and uh, gumption to share that with other people, but respectfully and gently. Okay, so that's tonight. So, until tonight, there are three things that we have to remember throughout this day. Robin, what's number one? That God loves us. He really, really, really does. That we love you. We love each other. We really, really, really do. And that Christ is risen. Indeed, he is risen. And you know something? I have, I have had comments, and you know, we do this every, every day, twice a day. You know, what are the important things that we have to remember? And people say, it's so comforting to hear that. And it, good, that's good. 
We, we really mean it. God loves us, and we love one another. We truly do. And let me see here. Just before we go. Okay. No. Well, so, until tonight, 9 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S., um, and Stravula, it's about 13 hours, it be tomorrow morning for Stravula. And then tomorrow morning we'll have morning prayers at 8 a.m. with Robin. So, until then, may God bless us all, and let's have a great day. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. See you later, folks. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, give thanks unto you.